It's the Coupon Sister, and today I am just going to briefly share with you a little bit of information on coupon inserts. Now, maybe many of you are already collecting coupon inserts, and this may be a really basic video for you, but if there are some of you out there that, you know, you see these in the newspaper, you throw them away, well, then this video is just for you. You'll find these coupon inserts in your Sunday newspaper. There's Red Plum, Smart Source, and PNG, which is Procter and Gamble. Sometimes you'll get like a Target coupon insert, or um, General Mills puts out a coupon insert. Sometimes you'll find those in there, and uh, it's just kind of an extra little um, way to build your coupon uh, stash. Now, I would suggest at least. Um, buying one newspaper. For those of you who really, um, you're, you're trying to start out and build your coupon stash without kind of being extreme or going overboard, at least buy one every Sunday. Sometimes um, different cities, like our city has a early Sunday edition that actually comes out on a Saturday. And coupon inserts are in there as well. Now the the trick to that is that Saturday's newspaper is cheaper than Sunday's newspaper. Our Sunday newspaper here is like $1.75, while the early Saturday edition is only $0.75. Cents. So if I know um, that there are supposed to be four coupon inserts coming out, I will go on a Saturday and I try to do this. Go and look and see if I can find all four coupon inserts in that early Saturday edition. If I do, I'm going to stock up. I'm going to grab two or maybe three if there are some really, really good papers. Because you're going to get um, at least two papers for the price of one. And um, that's a pretty good deal. Another um, way to uh, uh, get these, if you're not really wanting to have to um, commit to spending money on a paper every week. Check your local libraries, check a friend or family members that you know they get the paper and they throw their coupon inserts out. Ask them, can I have your coupons? It doesn't hurt. Um, I don't dumpster dive for coupons. I leave that for the, the extreme couponers that are out there. I'm not interested in that. Um, but there are uh, ways to get coupons. There's also um, like coupon uh, trading sites, things like that. And you can just do a Google search um, and find in more information about that. But basically, basically today I'm just talking about how you can build your coupon stash uh, quickly and easily. And this is the best way to do it. Um, just by buying that Sunday paper, you're going to get your coupon inserts. And um, if you check out a lot of the coupon matching websites, um, you'll find in there, say for example, they're doing a coupon matchup for um, a bread that's at your local grocery store. Um, they will often put SS and the date. And this is how you can figure out what they're talking about. You won't be able to see this here, but each coupon insert has a tiny date. You you probably will not be able to see that. But there's a date written on here. Here's a tip. Get a Sharpie and just write on here. 918. That way you know you got this smart source on 918. So when you see that bread coupon, it says the sale is $2 and there's a bread coupon for 55 cents off or maybe even a dollar and it says SS 918. Well, smart source, that's the SS and the 918, there you go. Same thing with Red Plum. If they're going to use um, RP as the abbreviation and of course PG for Procter & Gamble. So that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, go ahead, mark your date right on your insert, and stash it away. You don't even have to actually sit and cut 
each individual coupon out. That can be a tedious job and it can take a lot of time. So if there's somebody that's out there and they're like, oh, I just don't want to take forever sitting down clipping coupons. I've got better things to do. I've got kids to cook for. I've got a life. Well, that is the most easiest way to actually be able to have coupons and not have to clip a thing. You just stash it away and into your coupon pile and when you're following those coupon matchup websites they're telling you exactly where to go. So you just pull out your inserts. Okay, I need this one, this one, and this one. And you look through, skim, bam, there's your coupon. Cut it out. You're ready to go. Um, so that's a really, really easy way to um, start couponing um, that's really uh, not as intimidating as um, some other methods easy way to start out. I would suggest that everyone at least try this. At least try this. And feel free to let me know what you think about the method. Um, you can find me at thecouponsister.com as well as on Twitter at thecouponsister. And you can feel free to follow my Facebook page at, of course, The Coupon Sister. So thanks a lot everybody. Tune in and hope to see you soon.